Hello friends! To learn the complete rules of chess, check out our YouTube channel playlist, How to Play Chess. Friends, in the previous video we discussed check and checkmates. Today, I will teach you in which scenarios the game is considered as a draw and what is a stalemate. In chess, a draw is the result of a game ending in a tie. Let's see in what different ways the game ends in a draw. Draw by mutual agreement. Two players can agree to end the game in a draw at any time, regardless of the position of the board or how many moves have been made. Usually this happens when neither player can see a way to make progress in the game. Insufficient mating material If neither player has enough chessmen remaining to checkmate the other, then the game is immediately a draw. The following four combinations of pieces all result in an automatic draw. One. If there's only king versus king with no other pieces. 2. If there is a king and one bishop versus an opponent's king. 3. If there's a king and one knight versus an opponent's king. 4. If there's a king and two knights versus an opponent's king. Now let's talk about what is stalemate. Stalemate is a situation where the player whose turn it is to move is not in check but has no legal move. The rules of chess provide that when stalemate occurs, the game automatically ends in a draw. For example, in this position, if this is white's turn and the white king on h1 is not in check plus white's pawn on h6 is also blocked by the black pawn on h7. So from this position, the white player will not be able to make any legal moves. This is a stalemate situation. Now this game will end in a draw. What is threefold repetition? If the exact same position occurs three times with the same player to move, then either player can claim a draw by threefold repetition. The game doesn't end in a draw automatically, so if you want to continue, you can. But if either player claims the draw, then the game ends immediately, even if the other player wants to carry on. A common type of threefold repetition is known as the perpetual check in which one player has checked the other repeatedly. This is sometimes used to force a draw when the player who has check would otherwise lose. This is also called perpetual check. Let's see a simple threefold scenario. In this position, the white king on h2 is checked by the black queen on f2. If white moves his king from h2 to h1, then black will move his queen from f2 to f1. Now, if white moves his king back to h2 from h1 and black moves his queen back to f2 from f1. You can see both players are repeating the same moves. Here the black queen on f2 is forcing the white king on h2 to repeat the same move. If black will not do this, then the black will lose. Because white has more pieces on the board plus h8, black king is under attack. So this will be a draw after three repeated moves of both queens and kings. The 50 move rule. The 50 move rule is one of the least understood rules in chess. The rule essentially states that if no progress is made after 50 moves by both players, the game is declared as a draw. Progress is defined by the capture of any piece or the movement of a pawn. If 50 moves by each player are made without either of these events occurring, either player may claim a draw. Here in this position, white has three more pieces than black, but white can't attack the black king because white is not able to break the pawn structure. Plus, in this scenario, all black and white pawns are completely blocked. From this position, no capture is possible. So after 50 moves, any player can claim a draw. This is all for today's lesson. In the next video, we'll talk about basic chess tactics. If you'd like to learn more about the complete rules of chess, please check out our YouTube channel playlist, How to Play Chess. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.